We'll start tonight with the latest in the governor's race. Both candidates were in the Bay Area today to make their final pitches to voters. Governor Ron DeSantis was in Clearwater tonight to rally alongside House candidate Anna Paulina Luna. Libby Dean was at the event and joins us now with highlights. Governor Ron DeSantis just finished up rallying with hundreds of his supporters here in Clearwater. And during his speech, he referenced the policies he's implemented in the last four years during his term as governor. In a packed house tonight, Governor Ron DeSantis spoke to hundreds of his supporters in Clearwater. Are you glad to live in the free state of Florida? Are you going to make sure on November 8th we get to keep it that way? Turning Point Action's Unite and Win rally comes just days before the midterm elections. DeSantis also rallied support for his fellow GOP favorite, Anna Paulina Luna, who's running for the competitive seat in Florida's 13th congressional district. We're happy to be able to uh, welcome on November 8th a new congresswoman, Anna Paulina Luna. The governor stuck to referencing policies he's implemented while in office. We set out a vision on a series of issues. We've executed on that vision. We have produced results, and now the people have our back. Also citing at times controversial decisions he's made throughout his tenure. For instance, flying nearly 50 migrants to Martha's Vineyard. They only get upset when you have 50 that show up to Martha's Vineyard. Wrapping up his speech tonight, DeSantis referenced his run for governor in 2018, which he won by very slim margins. Now I can run and I can say, you know, I promised you I would do things on a series of issues. And not only did I feel, fulfill my promises, I over-delivered on my promises. The margins are looking much different than his run in 2018, showing DeSantis with a hefty lead in the polls over his opponent, Charlie Crist. The governor will be in the Bay Area again tomorrow, heading south on Monday, but he'll be back here for election night. Reporting in Clearwater, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.